Welcome to Probability Fair. Here is a great game where you can have a lot of fun with the concept of probability. Click play. You have to earn tickets to play in the probability fair, so the first step is to earn those tickets. Click OK. Now, if you're playing on the same computer, you can actually save your game and start, start over again with the number of tickets you've earned previously. We're going to do a new game right now, though. So here is the wheel. You click Start Game. First step is to choose the probability that has the best chance. So if I chose P of green, that means I'd hope the wheel would stop on one of the green sections. If I choose P of red, the probability of red, I'd hope it stopped on one of the red sections. P of blue or red means I'd hope it stopped at one of the blue or red sections. And the probability of blue or yellow means, means I'd hope it would stop at one of the blue sections or the yellow sections. I think my best chance is the probability of blue or red coming up. So I'm going to click this and click spin. And I earned five tickets because it landed on a blue section. Let's try to win a couple more tickets here. So, which of these probabilities has the best chance of, of, of coming up? Let's see, green or blue, blue or yellow, green or red, or green and yellow. I'm going to go with green or red. It looks like they're the most green or red sections on the wheel. So I click this, click spin. Now sometimes the best probability doesn't come up. Oh, I didn't win tickets. Well, I still have five tickets, so I'm going to enter the fair. You can keep spinning the wheel as many times as you want to earn as many tickets as possible. To show you how to play, I'm going to enter the fair with my five tickets. Now, I've, I have the choice, click OK, of playing five different games. So let's start off with, I don't know, the, let's do Plinko. Click Start Game. This costs two tickets. So I have to move, I have to drag this little coin to a spot. Now I want to drag to a spot where I think it's the best chance of landing in that 10 circle so I can win 10 tickets. So I let go, here it goes. Come on, give me the 10. Looks like I got five, so I actually won a few tickets. So this asks me where I'd like to play the game again. No, I'll try something else. I now have eight tickets. Let's try, let's, let's try, I don't know, let's try the number board. It says place the chips on place the chip on number numbers one to thirty-six or the empty color blocks on the number board. If you guess a red or black, you get three tickets. If you guess a green, you get thirty-five tickets. If you if you guess a correct number, you get double the tickets. This can be tempting, but my best chance is to simply let's move this coin. I think it's, I want to put it on a red square. That means if this lands on any number that's red, I win. Let's see. So it lands on nine. Nine was a red number. I was correct. I won six tickets. I'm doing pretty well. Let's try a different game. Again, my job is to try to earn as many tickets as possible. Let's try the shell game. This one costs five tickets. The shell game is simply a ball that is hidden behind each of four shells. Three shells are worth one, and one shell is worth ten. So let's try to get the ten shell. Click Start Game. I'm going to try to keep my eye on that shell. I believe it's right here. I think I'm going to win. I earned 10 tickets that time. Let's try a different game. I now have 16 tickets, so let's try the duck pluck. This costs 10 tickets. Duck pluck is simply a game in which you pick up a plastic duck as it swims down a carnival river. 
There are five total ducks with different prizes. Click start. I'm gonna what duck do I think is gonna win? You can choose halfway through. I'm gonna click on the 25. Let's hope he wins. He's looking good. Looks like I picked very well, but this five here is moving up on me, but still I win 25 tickets for that. Let's try the only game we haven't tried yet. I now have 31 tickets. Let's do the ticket wheel. Ticket wheel is simply a wheel that is spun with different ticket amounts on each section. Click start game. Okay, so there's a little meter here. So stop it when you think it's the right time by clicking. Or, when, or click spin. Let's see what I get. Uh, so that one didn't work out too well for me as I'm on zero. No, I don't want to play this game again. Okay, now watch. Let's say I've won 29 tickets. I want to come back and play later on the same computer that I played on this time. Click Save Game down here. And you get to enter your own password. Next time you play on this computer, enter your password, and you'll see your 29 tickets again. Or in my case, 29 tickets again. That's how you play Probability Fair.